Hello, I'm Riley Gott, and I'm an undergraduate entomology student who's studying butterfly taxonomy. I'm going to show you how to spread a butterfly, but first you need to know some of the supplies that we'll be using. The first supply is a spreading board. Another supply that is very important for this is your specimen. You will need some wax paper, a penning block, you will need a pen to mark your specimen locality information and you will need some sort of sewing pens or you can use insect pens to pin the wax paper strips down to the spreading board. Another useful item is a forcep. You will also need scissors to cut the wax paper out and you will need insect pens to pin your specimens. So now I'm going to show you how to pin your butterfly through the thorax. First, you will need to take your forceps and pick the butterfly up by its wings. Then I take the pinning forceps and I pick up the pin. And at this point, I typically go in through the front side. Next, I take it between my fingers and just kind of gauge where my forceps are and where the pin is going through the thorax at. The proper location is through the center of the thorax. Pull the needle point of the pin down to the insect to a height that will fit into the pinning block. Take a hold of the head of the pin and I take the insect that is pinned and put the pin through the uh, correct hole to set the proper height of the insect. If you don't have the right height, it's a lot easier to break the specimen's antennas and rub the scales off the wings. Next, I take the forceps and grab a hold of the pin again. And this is another crucial part to spreading it properly. You need to put the insect in the center of the groove and you need to make sure that the pin is not going into the styrofoam at any angle to the left or the right or forwards or backwards. I take the pin with my forceps again and I push the insect down so that the wings are level with the spreading board surface. After the wings are at a level surface with the spreading board, I take a very thin strip of wax paper and I lay it on one side of the wings to hold the wings down. Then I take a couple sewing pins and I pin the wax paper to the spreading board. I do the same thing with the other set of wings. As you can see, this process can take a little bit of time. Next, I remove the lower pin that I placed to hold the wing down and I take a very small insect pin um, that will leave a very tiny hole in the wing so it's not as noticeable as uh, some of the larger sizes. So now I'm going to poke the wing uh, near the vein and pull it up into place. I do the same exact thing with the hind wing. I pulled the hind wing up underneath the forewing to make sure that the forewing doesn't get too far above the hind wing and that sometimes if it gets too far above in certain species the forewing will fold up underneath the hind wing and uh, the wrong wing will be showing out first. When I spread my specimens, I typically take the bottom edge of the forewing and make it perpendicular to the thorax of where the thorax center line would be. And that's a standard way of doing things. Um, it, it gets the wing up high enough to where you can see all of the hind wing and all of the forewing and it looks good when you have a completed product. I'm going to pin the wax paper so they hold the wings in place. So now that I've got it pinned, I can remove these smaller pins from the wings and it should hold in place. Now I'm going to flip this around and do the other side. Move your antennae to where you want them to be once it dries. This is another area where you want to try to be symmetrical. This last step is laying a much wider piece of wax paper down to hold the outer edge of the wings that are not covered with the thin strips. Next, you pin it down against the spreading board surface. So now that I have both of the pieces of wax paper down on the wings, I'm going to add my label that I made to keep the correct information associated with this specimen. 
Now we have a butterfly specimen that has been spread properly and will be ready in seven to 10 days depending on the environmental conditions such as humidity. If the humidity is high, sometimes it'll take longer for the butterflies to dry um, because you have to wait for the moisture to evaporate from the butterflies to hold the wings in the proper position. With a little bit of practice, you'll be able to do it perfectly, I'm sure.